It's Jim here, and a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about the Fender Japan 2017 model refresh, and we focused on the traditional line of guitars. However, I did mention there was another line of guitars that were also introduced in 2017 that we would talk about at a later date, and that date is today. The guitar you heard is one of them. This is a 2019 hybrid 60s Telecaster in ocean turquoise metallic. I'm just going to be explaining the whole idea behind the hybrid series and also some differences between this one, one of the originals, and the newer versions, the hybrid 2s. As the name hybrid would imply, this guitar does have some vintage and modern specifications mixed in to make it the kind of beautiful gem that I feel it really is. At the top of the headstock here, you do have go to vintage locking tuners. I love these, make string changes super easy. You have a bone nut. The frets on this guitar, the Hybrid 1, are medium jumbo. The radius on this neck is a 10 inch radius. The back of the neck is a little bit more substantial as compared to the Hybrid 2s, but both have the satinous finish on it, so very fast if you're into that sort of playing. You have the options of either rosewood, such as this one, or maple on both this and the Hybrid 2s. Now, onto where things get really interesting, and that's the body. First of all, this one, no tummy cut, no sorts of any other modern creature comforts that some people love. But on the Hybrid 2s, you do get the belly cut. And, you know, that's one thing that appeals to a lot of people. It also reduces a little bit of the weight on the instrument. Where things really get cool, though, I love the original Hybrids. This has a set of American Vintage 58 pickups hooked up to a four-way selector switch. You have bridge, middle, neck and then series so it's this really big sound and it's not one that i personally love but just to give you an idea of what it would sound like here check out this clip <laughs> It's not very often I dime the gain on the Benson preamp, but I thought it was pretty fitting for that, and I hope that it gave you an idea of the difference between the bridge pickup just fully distorted versus the two pickups in series together. Outside of that, as far as the final specs of the instrument, the body is made of alder, it's got a poly finish on it, and you do have CTS components for your volume and your tone knob. I did just mention that on the single coil Telecasters, you did get the American Vintage 58 pickups, but but you also got the 5762 set on the Stratocasters, on the Jazzmasters, and the Jaguars, because there were Jaguars in the Hybrid 1 series, they did not carry over to the Hybrid 2, because Fender, for whatever reason, has something against that model, but I digress, those came with V-Mods. And for me, it reminds me of the old Baja range of guitars from Fender Mexico that also came with the Fender American pickups in them. The Hybrid 2s, those come with Hybrid 2 voiced single coil pickups in them. And I don't think that they sound bad. I've played a few of them and I've demoed a few on this channel. But for me and for my money, the real value was in these Hybrid 1s as far as the electrical components go. And the final major difference we're going to talk about before we wrap things up today between the Hybrid 1s and the Hybrid 2s had everything to do with the aesthetics of the instrument, the colors that were available. The Hybrid 1s came in so many awesome classic custom colors. You had charcoal frost metallic, you had candy apple red, you had candy tangerine, you had sherwood green, surf green, seafoam green, daphne blue, um, you had... This, which is ocean turquoise metallic, you had so many awesome colors to choose from that were familiar to people, as well as a few unique colors to Fender Japan, such as the indigo. I had one of the 50s hybrid telecasters. 
casters with that and a maple fingerboard as well as the flamingo pink which is a little bit different from what we have in the shell pink compare that with the hybrid 2 line you have a lot of colors that are unique to fender japan you have modena red you have forest blue but you know, you're always going to have your typical Ollie whites and Arctic whites mixed in on special runs and blacks and sunbursts and the like. But if you're somebody who wanted one of the real classic custom colors outside of Fender special runs, the hybrid twos are not available in them. And in my experience, a lot of the ones that I do find that are in some of those aforementioned custom colors, such as Sherwood green, charcoal frost metallic, and ocean turquoise metallic they're gonna have matching headstocks on the tellies and strats so not really a traditional thing at all if that's up your alley that's really cool but if you're somebody who really wants the traditional look of an older telecaster and one of the classic colors the hybrid one is your ticket so now that we've gone over all the fun stuff, like the specs and the color differences, the Hybrid 1 is always going to have a special place in my heart because when I first started doing YouTube, I really didn't know what I was doing. One of the first videos I ever uploaded that got a bit of traction about it was fueled by my love for a Fender Hybrid Telecaster that I bought to resell. The name of that video was Why I Sold my American Professional 2 Telecaster. And in case you haven't seen that video, it's not shot very well, but I stand by what I said in it. I basically went to the recording studio, used the American Professional 2. I wanted to love the thing to death, but when I got home and I played the guitar that I bought to sell, I knew that for me, the neck profile, the frets, the feel, I definitely preferred the hybrid one a lot more. Unfortunately, it did not have a happy ending because during that time I was at the studio and coming home, the guitar had sold. So it's not like I could have done the whole take the listing down, sell the American Professional 2 and keep the Flamingo Pink Hybrid 1 Telecaster that I had at the time. But I'll never forget that guitar and seeing as though I'm still doing YouTube to this day, it's funny to look back on it and know that having this ocean turquoise one in my hands, I feel the same way. Like this is so good. And I just really love these guitars. They're top notch, the appointments, the pickups. I like these better than the V mods or the hybrid two single coil voiced ones, whatever the heck they're called. I forget at this point. And they're just killer guitars. Great value. If you can find one used at a reasonable price, I suggest you give it a try. And that's pretty much all there is to the Fender Hybrid line. There's not a whole ton of history, seeing as though it started in 2017 up until current day. But there were some differences that I thought were worth pointing out in case you were confused or checking out the market and not sure what exactly you were looking at. I hope that you found this helpful. That's all I have for today. If you did find this helpful or you enjoyed this, maybe you learned something or I got something wrong. It's always possible. I definitely missed at least one or two custom colors when I was going over the ones that were available on this original hybrid one line of guitars. You can let me know in the comment section down below, but I'd like to thank you for your support. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy, everybody. Thank mm -hmm. you.